In this video, we're going to talk about a brand new feature within the DNS Center 1.3.1 that's called the Rolling AP Updates, which allows a network administrator to upgrade the software running on your wireless LAN network in a staggered fashion, achieving a completely hitless software upgrade. So in preparation for this demo, uh, we are actually running a Cisco DNS Center version 1.3.1. And we've also gone ahead and provisioned a couple of wireless LAN controllers here. So there is a primary 9800 wireless LAN controller and another wireless LAN controller that is configured in N plus one fashion. So essentially the configuration on both the primary and the N plus one controller are exactly the same. And that's one of the prerequisites. And the other thing you'll notice is they're both managing the same location and the same floor uh, on the network. Now I'll just click on one of these controllers here. And what you'll notice here is it is actually running a software image of 16.11.1c. And there's also a couple of access points uh, on this particular 9800 controller. So if I uh, go into primary, if I click on view 360, that will open um, the assurance window, which will tell me how the topology is. So in, in my case, you'll notice that there are four access points that are currently associated with the primary controller. The secondary controller does not have any access points associated with it right now. Now, the aim of this video was to upgrade the image on the wireless LAN network to a golden image that is certified by uh, enterprise. So in our case, the golden image that we've certified for the wireless LAN network is 16.12. So I, I will go into design and I will click on image repository. And as you as I do this, you'll notice that I have actually gone ahead and specified that 16.12.1 is the golden image for my 9800 controller. So we've also gone ahead and updated our N plus one controller, the secondary controller to 16.12 already. But keep in mind that there is nothing right now uh, from an access point perspective that is actually associated with the secondary controller. So I'm going to click on the secondary controller. You will notice that it is already on 16.12.1, which is our certified golden image. Whereas the primary controller to which all the access points are associated with right now is still on 16.11c. So the next course of action uh, is to show you some of the configuration that goes into how we perform rolling AP updates. Uh, I'm going to select the 9800 primary controller and click on provision and say provision device. And as I go there, you'll notice that it is currently managing Pune and building 11 within Pune. And as I click on next, you will notice that there are a few options to configure rolling AP upgrade. So one is I enable the check mark that turns on the capability to perform rolling AP upgrade. And it also allows me to select a percentage of access points that will reboot at any given point of time. In the beginning, I said that this feature is all about performing staggered AP updates within your wireless LAN network. So at any given point of time, there's only a set of APs that will go through the reboot process so that all the clients that were connected to those access points can be steered back to some of the safe APs in the region. Now, the percentage and the iterations through which this process happens uh, the whole selection of the access points is done via radio resource management, RRM. Uh, to know how the AP selection works and how we go about choosing the safe APs in the vicinity and all of that, there's a separate video that I'm going to link to this video uh, where you can find more information on that. So the point here is you can actually go and choose the number of access points that will reboot at any given point of time. And one of the other prerequisites before this can actually work is that you have to have a mobility tunnel created with your N plus one controller. So in this case, we've already created a mobility group. And when I configure, you will notice that it shows me that I have a mobility tunnel configured with the secondary controller. So these are some of the prerequisites before we can actually perform a rolling AP update. And uh, just to show you uh, what, what is actually configured on the secondary controller, uh, let me just click on secondary and I will go and click on provision, provision device. And you will notice that everything is exactly the same as the primary controller. 
And in this case, I'm not enabling any of the rolling AP upgrade here because it needs to be done on the primary controller. And as you can see here, the mobility tunnel is created with the primary controller. Now I will go back to provision and I will choose the, the I'll change the focus from inventory to software images. And as I do that, uh, my primary controller here, which is not running the golden image, tells me that there's an update needed. Now, when I click on needs update, it will actually do an image update readiness check that takes me through a bunch of pre-checks. So one of the pre-check that was performed is if the N plus one controller is up and that's a green here. And then it checks if the mobility tunnel was up and running. So that's a green as well. And there's a couple of other tasks it performs here to ensure that we are all ready to do the image update on the primary. So I'm going to now select uh, the controller and as actions, uh, go to software image and say update image. And we already saw in the previous uh, uh, step that we've gone ahead and marked 16.12.1 as our golden image. So the moment I click on update image, it asks me if I want to do the update image process now or later. And you will also notice that the distribution of the image is already done. So all we are doing right now is activating the image. What I mean by distribution is the image is already copied on the box. We are just going through the whole process of activating it, rebooting the device by doing uh, the update image process here right now. So I'm going to choose now since we're going to do it now and click next and hit confirm. Now, as you can see here, the status changed from image process, uh, image updating, updating. Now this will take a little bit of time. Okay. As you can see here, uh, the image upgrade status can be seen from the recent tasks. And there's a couple of things that has already occurred. The distribution of image has already occurred. And then the activation that we're doing right now. And of course, the rolling AP update process, as you can see here, uh, the APs will first go and join the N plus one controller and then eventually get moved to the primary APs and the success or failure percentages will be shown here. OK, we waited for some time and now finally we have the controller, the primary controller updated to 16.12.1 and all the access points updated as well. So I'm just going to click on image update status here just to show you the task that we were, you know, we were working on. So if you notice here, uh, the rolling AP update succeeded completely. Uh, and the access points were updated successfully as well. So you see four access points and in four iterations, they were successfully updated to the 16.12.1 image as well as the primary controller was updated to 16.12.1. So this completes the uh, rolling AP update operation where we were able to update all of our wireless network in a staggered fashion, um, which was essentially a hit plus upgrade where the clients did not really lose connectivity to the network. Thank you for watching the video.